Hi everyone, welcome back to the Big O series. In the last video, we learned what Big O is. Today, we're going to talk about two key properties of Big O, removing constant factors and dropping non-dominant terms. Understanding these can help us simplify Big O expressions and focus on the essential complexity of an algorithm. First, let's look at removing constant factors. Imagine we have a program that prints each element of an array twice. The code might look something like this. The first loop prints every element once, and the second loop prints each element again. If we count the number of operations, the first loop does n prints, and the second loop also does n prints. That gives a total of two n operations. Mathematically, we can say that t of n equals two times n. But in big O notation, we drop the constant two and just focus on the growth trend. So two n becomes o n. Why? Because no matter how fast the algorithm executes, a constant factor doesn't affect the overall growth rate as n becomes very large. Big O cares about how the algorithm scales with the problem size, not the exact number of operations. Next, let's look at dropping non-dominant terms. Suppose we have a program that first runs a double loop and then a single loop. The double loop performs n times n operations, which is n squared. The single loop does n operations. So the total number of operations can be written as t of n equals n squared plus n. In big O notation, we only keep the term that grows fastest, which is the dominant term n squared. The smaller, non-dominant term n can be dropped. So we say the big O of this algorithm is big O of n squared. Why do we do this? Because when n is very large, n squared grows much faster than n, so n has almost no impact. This lets us focus on the dominant factor affecting performance. It's important to note, though, that big O is mainly used for theoretical analysis of growth trends. In real projects, if constant factors or non-dominant terms are extremely large, like in the hundreds of millions, they can still significantly affect performance. In these cases, even algorithms with the same big O may run very differently in practice. So in engineering, we can't just rely on big O alone, we need to consider practical factors as well. To summarize, these two key properties of big O help us simplify analysis and focus on the core complexity of an algorithm. Constant factors can be removed because they don't affect growth trends. Non-dominant terms can be dropped because they don't significantly affect performance at large scales. Mastering these two properties allows you to quickly evaluate algorithm efficiency without worrying about the exact number of operations.